Phoenix Splash TV. Rock and roll and video games, two subjects that seem to go hand in hand pretty well. Ever since Japan got into the gaming scene, there always seems to be rock and roll in the background. From Sega Genesis's rockin' sound bites to Mega Man's 8-bit to 16-bit use of awesome mini guitars. With all of this rock and roll, there's bound to be some references to actual rock bands. The greatest example of this is the Mega Man series. In the first Mega Man, you can actually hear Journey's song called Faithful in Mega Man 1's Elect Man stage. There are other examples of this throughout the Mega Man series, from taking more samples of songs to even naming an entire cast of boss characters after members of Guns N' Roses. There are even some games that downright take the melody and chord progressions of popular rock songs and use them. There are many examples of this. Since Japan is big on video games, one has to wonder, has ex-Japan's music ever been used or mentioned in video games? And the answer, of course, is yes. So here are four instances where ex-Japan has met video games. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, The Game, at the player select screen. Now this game was released for many consoles, but if we're looking for Extra Japan, we have to go to the Super Nintendo version, developed by Natsumi and designed by Bandai. Now believe it or not, I actually played this game a lot as a kid, way before I even knew what Extra Japan was. I always liked the character select music, it's a short loop, but it stays in your head. Now you can imagine my surprise when I heard X Japan's song called Sadistic Desire. In the guitar solo, there it was, the loop. Now, is this a ripoff? Well, yeah, taking the melody and chord progression pretty much seals the deal. The game is composed by... Um, these two composers, and uh, Hiroyuki also composed music for Ninja Gaiden Shadow for the Game Boy, so I think we figured out one of his influences. Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue. Now if you're looking for X Japan's influence in the video game music world, you have to look no further than the Guilty Gear and the Blaze Blue fighting games. Rock and roll is all over these games. There's even an Axel Rose inspired character named Axel. Low. And not to mention Eno being inspired by Japanese star Shina Ringo. To find X Japan in this game, all you have to do is just listen to the music. The dual guitars, the fast drum beats, the song genre is the same genre that X Japan pretty much pioneered in Japan. Now even though most of Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue's music doesn't downright rip off X Japan songs, one of them does. Uh, most notably, The Midnight Carnival from Guilty Gear and Kurine from X Japan. Take a listen. If influencing music and a style of extremely deep fighting games wasn't enough for X Japan fans, X Japan actually has a video game in their name. That's right, in 1995, Sega developed a game called X Japan Virtual Shock 1 for the Sega Saturn. 
To my knowledge, this game was only released in Japan and is extremely hard to find. So what is the gameplay like? Well basically you're a photographer and you follow X Japan. It's kind of like those Sega CD FMV games. You can navigate and explore the backstage areas and of course take pictures of the band. Since I don't have a Sega Saturn, I obviously wasn't able to play this game. But I found a pretty good let's play by Gameplay and Talk that I'll put in the description. They actually played through the whole game. As far as FMV games go, keep in mind that I have a limited knowledge of them. So from the ones that I've played and kind of seen, this one looks pretty interesting among the rest. So yeah, if you aren't willing to spend all that money on a Sega Saturn and this game, then I'd really check out gameplay and talk. They pretty much played through the entire game. And they're pretty entertaining too. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, X Japan Virtual Shock is an interesting concept, but I see it more as a promotional tool rather than a video game. In that game, you can't really lose. You're pretty much just witnessing X Japan. I want a game based off X Japan that's actually like a game. I mean, Kiss got a bunch of them, so why not X? Does such a game exist? Well, for some reason, it does. That's right, there exists a game for the phone where you're Yoshiki running around some demonic studio collecting music notes. It's oddly titled X Drums. And I'm not kidding, this thing actually exists. It's a platforming arcade game that's pretty much about getting a high score. Throughout the game, you can collect 8th notes and other various music symbols. Yoshiki also cannot die. Usually when you get hit, you'll either get time added to your overall time, or you'll lose some 8th notes that you've collected. Throughout the game, you'll have to dodge these fangirls that look like nuns. They're pretty persistent, but they're not too bad to get around. The most annoying thing in the game is those stupid cupids. If you touch even one of their arrows even when after they've shot it, Yoshiki will freeze in place allowing for a fangirl to molest him. Once you're done collecting things throughout the level, you can go to the roof and head to the chopper. But watch out, there's this fangirl who's dressed in all white that you'll have to watch out for. Touch her and Yoshiki will instantly get married. And that pretty much ends the game right then and there. Yeah, and this will deplete your score and you'll have to start over, so by all means, avoid this woman. So after you get to the chopper and collect your score, you can compare it to other people who have played the game. Overall, I thought it was a well-made game. The music is really good. Even though it's not X Japan's music, you know, because of copyright, it still manages to be the best part of the game. It even changes depending on what you're doing. And the rooftop song sounds like something X Japan would compose. So yeah, the game is free for the Android, so give it a download and give it a play. It won't cost you a dime. So that was X Japan in video games, from their music being in other games to actually having one of the members jump around. X Japan has really done it all. Do you know of any other instances where X Japan was in a video game? Leave it in the comments below, and thank you for watching. This is Josh the Music Man, signing off. Tossing and turning and feeling a yearning Every day, every day, every day Your eyes control me